Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 6th. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. So, I've cut it to the Nine of Pentacles and the Hangman, and they both appear to be upright. So, Nine of Pentacles is a very independent, self sufficient individual. Somebody may be sacrificing themselves. You know, for a cause. You know, we may somebody may be uh, choosing to be independent. There's a reason. There's a reason why. Maybe, maybe they're sacrificing themselves for their children, or um, well, somebody sacrificing themselves for for a cause. That's what this hangman is. Uh, maybe their career. Maybe their career is more important or something like that. I mean, both of these cards are very independent energy. So somebody is really thinking about everything. They're thinking about their their security. They're thinking about their foundation. They're thinking about um, their life. They're thinking about uh, their future. I feel like we have somebody here that is independently owned and operated or they're thinking about becoming independently owned and operated. Um, there is some sort of sacrifice here though, sacrificing, you know, being alone. So choosing to be alone may be a sacrifice, but there's abundance that comes with it. So we do have somebody here that is choosing to be alone by the looks of things. Maybe focus on their business. Focus. The, I mean, this is the Nine of Pentacles, very similar to the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is very domestic, very family oriented. But but this person all, appears to be also a very career oriented. Um, There's a new perspective that is being gained. Somebody is learning some sort of lesson about themselves. Right now, they're going through a period of enlightenment. This is about self-identification. You know, somebody is going through a period of self-identification. Maybe it's re-identification. Looks like we have a golden opportunity here. Because in this one, we have a pentacle right here. That's a pentacles are a golden opportunity. So somebody does have a golden opportunity to break free from something, you know, because this is hanging on. There's an opportunity. You can break free at any time. So somebody has an opportunity to break free of something and maybe get themselves into a partnership, but I don't think they're they're not or they're getting themselves into some sort of commitment or something like that. Because if you add that that one pentacle to the nine equals the ten, which is the ultimate abundance. You know, it's a stable home, business life, stable long-term stability. Anyway, we have a very self-sufficient, capable individual here who is very capable of taking care of themselves. Somebody may be choosing to go down that road or they may be already in that position, you know, where they're sacrificing themselves. I do feel like we have somebody here that is sacrificing themselves. For some sort of cause, either it's their career, their 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 business, their money, whatever is more important, or their family, or their uh, children. There is some sort of sacrifice. Nine of Pentacles is very. Uh, it's very successful. Could be an entrepreneur, or business owner, or where could even be a boss. This is somebody that is very determined to be successful. There could also be an increase with the Nine of Pentacles, could be an increase of money. But there's just, you know, there's abundance. There's We have somebody here that has worked hard to obtain. The next step is the Ten of Pentacles, which is the ultimate abundance. So we have somebody here that is very, very close to having the ultimate abundance. They may have been sacrificing themselves for some time, you know, but there's some, I feel like there's going to be an increase of abundance, okay? This period of sacrifice isn't going unnoticed or something like that. Hmm. Four of Swords reversed. I need a new desk. I 
think I'm going to go look for one whenever I get a chance. Four of Wands. So Four of Swords, Reverse, Four of Wands. Definitely about foundations. Two fours. So I was clarifying that Four of Swords, Reverse, and I got the Four of Wands. So this is about commitment. We have somebody here that's in Four of Swords, Reverse, is tired, exhausted, fed up. Um, could be even poor health. You may have somebody here that is in an unhealthy situation. Maybe they're unhealthy. You know, they're unhealthy, period. This is sick and tired, but then we have the Four of Wands, which is happiness. It is commitment. It is celebrating a get-together. Um, having fun. Dancing. Having fun. So these people are celebrating. Celebrating life. Celebrating life. And it's interesting because these are both about life. They really are. Four of Swords and the Four of Wands. So something about life time to live but live for yourself take care of yourself the nine of pentacles all about self independence sick and tired of a partnership sick and tired for a wand somebody is sick and tired they're sick and tired of something uh, five of pentacles five of pentacles is on thin ice financial burden financial hardship uh, we have somebody here that is struggling. They're struggling financially. They are on thin ice. There's some sort of neglect. There's some sort of abandonment. There's some sort of uh, serious struggle here. Somebody is really, really, really struggling. It's like they're sinking. They feel like they're sinking. They're in like, they're sinking, you know, Drowning. It almost feels like we have somebody here that is drowning. They're drowning in some 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 sort of situation. This is no life. Four of Swords reverses. It's like waking up. I think we have somebody here that has been going through a period of enlightenment. They may be going, starting to wake up, and they're thinking about their future commitment, their future home, their future happiness. There's been some sort of neglect and they're sick of it. They're sick of being neglected. They're sick of not having enough. There's somebody is sick of not having enough. They're sick of it. There's not enough. Five of Pentacles is not enough. It's not really enough. Four of Cups reversed. Now we got we got four cards. We have four cards. When we got three fours on the table. We can say four, 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 four. Four, four, four is universal guidance, universal protection, all is well. This is about foundation. There's there's angel guidance here. There's a seizing a new opportunity. Four of Cups reversed. Somebody is going to be. They're interested. They're going to be taking an opportunity that they neglected in the past or that they ignored in the past. So then somebody's going to be taking a new opportunity. They're considering it for sure. There could be an upcoming get-together, an upcoming celebration. There could be an upcoming engagement. Um, somebody could be receiving you know, an offer or an invite to go somewhere after they've been neglected or abandoned or ghosted or something like that. Four of Cups. You know, I, I want to keep saying something about a hospital. So I don't know if somebody's going to a hospital. I don't know why I think that. I think we have somebody here that is ill. And they have been not paying attention to the signs. Because four, fours are all about signs. Pay attention to the signs. They are because it's an angel number. Pay attention to the signs. Like the angels are trying to give you a message. You're on thin ice. You're... You're about to sink, you know, if you want if you want something about a better life, you know, you <gasps> anyhow, uh four of cups four of cups reversed. That's taking an opportunity that has been ignored. Somebody has been missing an opportunity. They've been ignoring something. They've been ignoring something. Ignoring the signs. Somebody's been ignoring the signs. Well, anyhow, let's keep going. 
but all is well. There's angel protection here. There's angels around. Ace of Pentacles. I knew we saw that. Uh, we have a golden opportunity. This is a yes answer. This is a manifestation. This is a new investment. This could be investing in health, investing in something practical, something solid, something stable. Um, somebody is going to be receiving an opportunity that is solid, secure, stable, long term. Um, this could even be a gift. This could even be a windfall, but I don't think it is. I think this has to do with an offer. It's a golden opportunity for stability and security. Um, may have something to do with a home, but that four of wands, I want to keep, we may have somebody here that's been struggling, you know, and they've been hoping and praying for something. Um, they've been sinking. Maybe they've been in debt with that five of pentacles. Something is, maybe they got sick and it got themselves in debt. I don't know. There's some sort of debt here with that five of pentacles. But the ace of pentacles is a new investment. And the four of cups reversed is interested. It's the end of, you know, ignoring a situation. There's going to be a get together or a celebration or something like somebody's going to be really happy with whatever they're getting. Somebody's going to be getting something. I don't know if it has to do with it. I mean, I hate to say this, but the Four of Swords, to me, is the death of a situation. It's the death of a person or idea. It's the first card out. Um, we may have somebody that's been hanging on. They've been hanging on. And I don't know. Maybe they're letting go. I mean, and this could be an inheritance. The Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles could be an inheritance. And then the Ace of Pentacles is like a gift. Some people, some of you might be getting an inheritance. I mean, I hate to say this, but I mean, because, you know, there could be a celebration. There could be, I don't know, there could be. Just saying there could be a celebration of life. That's what I see. That leads to something. It looks like money could help somebody get out of financial debt. And I mean, I hate to say that. I really do. I don't, I don't like to say those kinds of things. But... Anyway, I think that there is some sort of offer or gift or opportunity that is coming that is going to help somebody get out of financial debt, okay? Whether it is from a death or it has to do with an illness or whatever it is, it feels like there's some sort of new opportunity here that's going to make somebody really, really happy. It's going to help them with their financial burdens. Four of Swords reversed. Emperor, another four. Emperor reversed. So we could be dealing with an Aries. Could be dealing with a father. We got a lot of fours here, okay? We do. Now we have, we really have four fours. We have fours. Uh, we definitely have four, 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 four. So fours about angels. Okay, there's angels here. There's angels guiding somebody. Maybe to a new home. Now that four of wands is a home. I don't know if somebody is being guided to a new home. Ace is a pen. Aces. Any ace is something new. Okay, we have a new, solid, stable, real, practical opportunity. This is what you asked for. This is what you manifested. This is what you asked for. And it's interesting because the Ace of Pentacles right underneath the Five of Pentacles. That equals the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is help. It's help. This is the help that you asked for. This is the gift that you asked for. This is what you asked for. This is what you asked for. So this is help. It is help. Somebody's going to be receiving I don't know where they're going to be giving. This is receiving and giving, give and take. Give where there is equality, where there is give and take. Somebody has been struggling. They've been struggling probably with a partner because I see a partnership here where there hasn't been reciprocation. There hasn't, it feels like there hasn't been reciprocation. The four of cups I'm talking about. There hasn't been a lot of love. There hasn't been any desire. There hasn't been an attraction to it. It's been a dead end. You know, it's been draining. It's been mentally draining. Somebody's been ill, maybe even depressed, probably ignoring another opportunity. Emperor reversed. Whew. Four of 
Four of Swords, Reverse, extremely depressed, exhausted, fed up. Corruption, there's some sort of corruption here. We have a masculine energy that may be angry. This person may be angry. They're in some sort of foundation where there's they're on thin ice anyway. <sighs> what the hell is this? Emperor reversed. King of Wands. Oh my God. Definitely could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but we have Aries and the Emperor as well. Could be anybody, but this is taking action. Somebody's about to take action. Could be very impulsive, extremely impulsive. Emperor reverse could be extremes. We could have somebody here that is ex just so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of this. these financial problems. I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of it. Somebody is definitely sick of it. I feel like they are looking for something more. They want something more. They definitely have an opportunity for something more. But with that hangman, they've been tied to a situation sacrificing themselves. They may be dealing with somebody that can give them financial abundance with that nine of pentacles. You know, it could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That Nine of Pentacles is somebody that is very, that is just enjoying their life, that is very self-sufficient, that is very business-oriented. So we have somebody here that is a business-like, you know, is, is, has, is very capable of success. And then we have the hangman. We have somebody here that is thinking about, I do feel like we have somebody here that is thinking about their abundance. They're thinking about their future. They're thinking about what they're wasting their time on, you know. They've been holding on to something needlessly because that's what a sacrifice is. You know, there's, they've been refusing change, um, refusing to look at things from a new perspective, extremely stubborn. Um, but that emperor reversed is like, whew, clinging to control, having a hard time letting go of control. <laughs> this is this is somebody who likes to be in control, you know, that doesn't like to give up control. So this person is trying to uh it's almost like pretending to be happy. I feel like we have somebody here that is pretending to be happy. It's like they're pretending to be in a happy foundation, pretending to be in a happy commitment. But they're not. It's draining them. Not only is it draining them mentally, their bank account is not going anywhere, okay? It, if anything, it's going down because when you're not being true to yourself, the universe responds in the same manner, okay? Just keep that in mind. Anyhow, the emperor reversed. <sighs> This is somebody that, I don't know if this person does things illegally, so this is somebody that could be corrupt. Not very, in, I'm sorry, but the emperor in reverse can be somebody that's naive, that isn't very experienced, that isn't using their head. King of Wands. King of Wands generally takes action. This is somebody who gets a vision that is very, very driven. So I do believe we have somebody here that is getting some sort of sudden desire to do something because this is no life. This is no life. And there's some sort of sickness or sickening. It's a sickening. We do have somebody here that has poor health as well. Health may be declining. Somebody's health may be declining. Um, taking charge. Somebody's going to be taking charge. I think it's extremely suddenly. A sudden change.
This person has been ignoring an opportunity, a golden opportunity. They have been. For happiness. Maybe they're fearful. Maybe they've been fearful of commitment, marriage. There's something to do with marriage here. Four of Wands, a marriage card. But the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity for long-term stability, something permanent, okay? It's something permanent, something you can have, something you can hold, you know, something that you can touch, something that is real, that is solid, that can, that can where there will be equal give and take because of that Six of Pentacles. Do you want equal give and take or do you want to do it all by yourself? I do feel like we have somebody here that's about to do something spontaneous. That is how I feel about that. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups about wish fulfillment, right? It's about happiness. It's about having it all. We got somebody here that wants to have it all. They do. There is going to be a get together or a celebration or something like that. Somebody may be even getting an offer or an invite from an individual. Maybe this person's been afraid. Maybe they were afraid. It does look like they were. Or they weren't interested because, well, I don't know why, because they were sick or they were mentally unstable or... They were feeling weak or there's some sort of weakness here. There is weakness here. But this is taking it. This is going down that path, celebrating, having fun, getting together. There is going to be an upcoming get together. I feel like we have a turning point here. I do. I do. I feel like we have a turning point here. I feel like we have an individual that has been thinking a lot about their future and they got this new vision. They do, they have this new vision. This is somebody that is going to be taking charge, like taking charge of their life. This is taking charge, taking charge of my life. And it's like they've given their power away uh, up until now. They've given their power away to somebody that isn't even interested. Yeah, they've been giving their, their their power and their energy away to somebody that isn't even interested. But now it's like, mm -mm. this is like a new, it's a new vision. It really is. It's like making a judgment call. I feel like we have somebody here that's making a judgment call. Sudden, sudden, a new one. Going in a new direction with that Ace of Wands in the King of Wands hand. This is somebody that gets this sudden passionate desire to go in a new direction like just like that and it has to do with home or, or living or business but because of that four of wands like we just want to keep saying home and then we had the nine of wands, nine of pentacles with the ace of pentacles what were the pentacle that was on the hangman which is the ten of pentacles which is also home so, so there could be definitely a change in a living situation we have somebody here that has been sacrificing themselves needlessly. I also feel like we have an individual that is sick and tired of waiting. They're sick and tired of waiting for something. And, and I think that you need to be very careful because I feel like we have an individual here that is corrupt, that is doing something illegal. They may be trying to get rid of somebody. Be careful with any drinks that people hand you because, I mean... Sometimes people, you know, do things that are unjust. So I wouldn't be drinking anything that anybody hands you, especially if you are a fire sign. And I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I feel, I mean, we could have a water sign here. I don't even know if it's a water sign, but if we get the Nine of Cups, this person that I just heard and saw, and I don't know why, but this person's pouring something into a cup, giving it to this person, and I don't think it, and it could kill them. It's like being, I mean, I hate to say that kind of stuff. I really do. <sighs> uh, 
We definitely have somebody here that is sick and tired of waiting for somebody. It's like they've been waiting for this person to, to leave and this person just isn't leaving. And they've been planning. The Hamian is a planner, you know, a thinker. Don't drink anything that anybody hands you. Nothing. Go get it yourself. Ace of Pentacles. Taking an opportunity. Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords, that's taking a new approach. Being honest and upfront, speaking the truth. Somebody here is speaking the truth. They're going to be telling the truth. They're going to be speaking the truth. There's, there, maybe there's going to be an investigation. I don't know. Queen of Swords is a professional, okay? She's a professional speaker. She's a very intelligent. Giving somebody a new perspective. Somebody's about to gain a new perspective. They are. Whoever this Queen of Swords is, she is very forthright. She is authentic. She is truthful. She tells the truth. She speaks the truth. Chariot on the bottom. Chariot is going for a ride, taking a journey, moving, finding the mental strength and the willpower and the discipline to go someplace. Somebody is going to be speaking the truth. They're going to be doing something. They're going to be going someplace. They're taking an opportunity. To go down a new path that they have been presented with. There's been some neglect. There's been some abandonment. We do have somebody here that may be becoming independent. The Queen of Swords is very independent. But the Queen of Swords may also be receiving an offer. Okay, she's receiving something. She is receiving something because the Queen, of, uh, the Ace of Pentacles is right next to her. So this Queen of Pentacles, or Queen of Pentacles, you might as well call it that. Anyhow, she is about to receive a golden opportunity, or maybe money. I don't know. Whatever this is, it's a gift. Okay, this is a gift. It's something or an increase of something. You know, the, her authentic authenticity, her truthfulness, her her uh, ability to speak the truth has earned her some sort of respect. She is going to be given a golden opportunity that she can take right to the bank. And it, and it does have to do with, I don't know if somebody is going to court. We definitely could have a judge here, a judge that gets involved. I don't know if this is like a wrongful death or I don't know what it is or what kind of situation. We may have somebody here that is ill, that is sick, maybe even mentally ill. I do believe that there is somebody here that is going to be receiving some sort of financial help somehow. Um, a judgment call is going to be made. There is, has been some corruption. Somebody has uh, went to extremes, I believe. There could definitely be an investigation that is coming up. Seeing Four of Cups reverse that is seizing an opportunity. We definitely have somebody here that is taking an opportunity. They are taking an opportunity. They are sick of waiting and they're going to be going in a direction. You know, there could be some punishment that is coming as well with the hangman. Anyhow, so we definitely have movement, okay? Things are about to change, and I think they're going to change pretty darn fast. I do. 
Um, somebody's going to be taking charge, okay? They're going to be taking the lead because they're ready. They're ready. Good luck.